All right, here's the home trend ceiling fan 42 inches that I got today from Mark Wilson. Oh, I don't know what that was, but back to the fan. Um, I just flipped over the blades to the white side. Um, this, I think this might be the first fan that I've done a video of that's white. I don't know, that's polished brass. I just know the fan's actually bright brass. I actually forgot to mention that. But um, yeah, it's in bright. It's a bright brass ceiling fan and. Basically, it was the first time I tested the fan that's in brass with white blades. Let's, let's just say that. And, um, normally I'm not really a big fan of white, like, or brass of a whiter color than oak or something like that, but I think it does look pretty good with the white blades. I do prefer the oak big time, but if it was, like, painted white on both sides, I wouldn't mind it. But, yeah, there's a pop star. It's going to be upside down in the video, but... Here, those are the two shades that didn't break. There's one that broke, so I'm using these shades on it instead. It's from February of 1999. It's not too bad of a fan, honestly. Um, it, it is more powerful than a Littleton. It's better built. But it's still not the best fan out there, so yeah. And the moment isn't heating up extremely like the Littleton was when I tested it. So that is a good thing. And here's the pull chain that it has. I'm using it, I have it wrapped around, so let me go ahead and show it to white. Now, despite these being a cheap fan, I do like these quite a bit. I don't know, these remind me of spinner fans, just because it has a very small motor. So, um, that's just something that I like about it. Uh, yeah. Shut off the light and move the fan, start the fan off on low. Alright, something I forgot to mention in the other video, but um, I something I like about this fan is it has a very strong 90s look to it. And I, fans from the 90s are probably my favorite. I like the 80s fans, but 90s fans are more shiny look for me. I would think a generic color or G vet fan, those are, I mean, maybe those are the 90s too, but those are fans that I like a lot too. They say like the 80s, late 80s fans, 90s, those are like my favorite fans. Like it took a weapon or something now, so this will be the last video I do. Video fan that I test tonight. I will reveal the next, the third fan that I got today, but I will test it tomorrow. I honestly wasn't even expecting to get this fan actually. And Mark just said, Oh, I do have a um, Walmart fan in my today. So I'm like, eh, I'll see what it is. Maybe I can, I'll see if, I can, if I want it. Turns out to be fans that I actually don't mind having, so yeah. If it was a like in the newer one, I wouldn't want it to fill it. The newer version that looks like an a, a, a um, Harbor Breeze Armitage, I wouldn't mind having that. I'd always use it for replacement stock. Well, actually, that'd be I'd feel bad using it as a replacement stock, but so, if I was to sell it to someone I know and put it up for them, I'd feel bad, but um, unless they like the work of it, but. So would feel bad, but um, yeah. If I was to like sell it on like off a ramp, I wouldn't mind doing that honestly. But I wouldn't want to overprice it. Maybe that's the only thing that it's they don't even sell them for that much, so I don't want to like rip them off on a thing that's not that good. I mean, yeah, there are some Walmart fans that I do like. I don't like the newer ones too much, but I would, I really do like the ones they had back then. Back when this was being so they, they had some neat designs. They weren't the best quality, but the neat designs were pretty neat, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to make this video short, but I do want to go to sleep. But I do want to show the other one too. The other fan as well. It's one that I do have already, but it's in a different finish. And it is this fan that I did record recently, not too long ago. About a couple of weeks ago. And the fan after that is actually a fan that I did just test recently. But I, it is one of the same fans that I got from the haul 
when I got eight fans. Um, one of them I have yet to test. I do need to get the genre off for that still, so until then I'm not revealing what it is. I revealed the low, profi the, um, low profile because now when I can't test it either way on the floor, so the um, only time I will test that is when I actually install it in my bedroom. Just make some bearing noise in that wishing that like swirling sounds. It's like well, that the shades are a bit heavy, so it makes it. I think they're vibrating on it. They're not loose. I did tighten them. I actually right after the other video ended up, um, I did use screwdriver to tighten them. None of the screws are loose, so it's just that they're heavy. Or it's it's right. It's I don't know. It's a cheap fan, so I'm not even gonna get into detail about it. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to White. Oh, it's on Something I do like about it is, um, I do remember back at Home Depot, back in the, um, early 2000s, um, they had, like, the, one of the channels, I think it was the anti the polished brass one, they had it with the oak side and white blades, I was like, what, the display model was still like that, and that was before they switched it to, um, oak and rosewood, so I found it interesting that they still had it for a brief amount of time before, and then I noticed that they switched it. But at first, I always thought that there was never a thing they could have just been like in my imagination or they put the wrong blade on it. But um, seeing that there were some fans back, seeing that yeah, that was actually a thing, I really do find it interesting. I'm not a big fan of it, but I feel like that's something that was pretty common in the 90s that they had polished brass fans with white blades. I haven't seen too many of them, but it is pre it's pretty interesting. But I do see why it, it didn't last too long, too. Like it didn't really. It wasn't really something that a lot of people did too much. I, I never really see brass fans of white blades. Like the icon I just test that I put up at my friend's house, like flush monitor for her, um, that actually had white blades. I actually thought that would look, would have looked nice with white blades, but the rosewood side looked a lot nicer though. We were actually almost going to have to do that because the rosewood side had paint on it, and I was telling you that it would be better to put it on my just one meeting, but um. I was telling you that if we can't get the paint off of the rosewood side, um, it'd just be better to um get put it on the white side. So, but luckily we will get it, be able to get it off. So yeah. I really do like that it has a very small motor housing. It's just something you don't really see. Well, I always do wonder why fans have such big motor housing, so they don't really just have them. Maybe so the heat doesn't can ex expand, doesn't like stay in one spot. That's probably why, but I really do find it interesting that this fan has a very small motor housing. It's a unique design. You don't really see it too often unless it's a spinner. It mostly hums, but um, it isn't. It has never been used, so I can't really say how long it, how well it will do over the next ten years. It'll probably hum, be just a bit more noisy, but I don't know. Alright, let me go ahead and show it to white. It'd be neat if it was a white fan and it had like rainbow blades on it. I, I do remember some fans back then, before they even made the hand to make carousel too, um, being like a generic hug huggers like the Littleton, having like white being white with rainbow blades. Um, I don't know if they were just custom painted. I've seen some in public. Maybe like one or two in public, but I think the, the owners might have just painted them like that. That's my guess. I 
I really just want to get this video done, so I'm just gonna move it up to high now. It's going pretty fast and high. It does move a decent amount of air, but I mean, it's hot in here, so I am feeling some air from it. It's cooling me down a bit, so it does move more air in a little tin, big time. Especially if you, and I feel air from like even behind me. What? It's actually moving the blades on the infinity. That's a first. I'm gonna put it like this for a second just so you guys can see this. Just stop moving now, but I'll put it back like that. Oh, I've never seen any fan move the infinity before. The fact that a fan from Walmart, I mean, really, a Walmart fan that's making the infinity move that. Yeah, it's moving again. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but just look at the shit reflection on the light. Okay, I got more respect for this fan, honestly. <laughs> Not even the concept market Delta Two was able to make the infinity move, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm I'm very confused now. None of the fans that I've fortunes up here so far have been able to move it and some most of them have, are and all of them are way more powerful than this. It might have been moving the blades when I was had the old side just wasn't working up. But wow, I'm actually very surprised that it's actually move it's actually powerful enough to move the blades up on the infinity. And it's, and it's actually a weak fan, but it's, well it's not weak like it's for it to move the weights on the infinity and the classic market Delta 2 didn't. I don't know, it might be like the way because the blades, the air moving from this fan, it's more like straight, it goes like straight up, it doesn't really spread around too much like it does, but I think it has, to do, has something to do with it as well. So if I was to like move it closer to me. I don't know, this is very strange. I've never seen a fan do that. And all the fans that I forced us at the old place were able to move the, to make this local file spin. Or move at least, but the old file wasn't really directly above it, so. Oh shoot. I know some of you guys that don't like this fan would have liked the chimney yanked off of it, but that's not gonna happen. Never had a fan that had four times in that moves the fan right above it. For and the fact that a Walmart fan able to do it, it's actually very surprising. I'm actually, I don't, I actually can't even believe it to be honest. But yeah, I just, I don't know. This is just so strange. It's not like the blade that has to be reflecting like the white. So you have to take the four away from the living room. It will move and then stop, and then it will keep moving and stops. See what as it moves, less, the less, there's like not that much of a view of the white underneath it. Yeah, it's able to move the infinity. I'm impressed. I actually have more respect for this fan now, to be honest. Oh. I didn't show the white wall is on high. I'll just do that for a little bit. Oh. That's low. 
But yeah. I actually have more respect for this fan now that now that I see they can actually move the infinity. None of the other fans that have texted have done so. So um yeah. That's this is a big shocker for me. I I just can't believe it. It's actually moving the infinity a bit. I don't know why the other fans didn't do that though. The one, the other fans that I forecasted. Them. All right. What? Well, all right. Now let me get this shut off. And let me do a spin down. I didn't know. Well, Infinity's already starting to get a bit dirty. It's only been up for like three weeks, I think. Maybe a month. Oh, yeah, it's only been up for a month, and I wasn't saying. But... Yeah, that's actually the main reason why I didn't have to pass for two with the white blades get out. I don't like to clean them that much. I try to clean them at the least amount as possible. I don't, I don't like to really use a wet, damp cloth on them. Or like really. A lightly damped cloth, but I don't, I just like to not get them wet at all, so, um, when I do, I try to do it, like, very quickly. I just don't want to be too bad if it's gloss, but, um, yeah. But, yeah, I got, I have more, I actually didn't expect this fan to um, move the blades on the Infinity. I expected the Constant Market Delta 2 to do that, but, um, the fact that this is it, I'm just... I'm surprised. Oh, actually, maybe it could have just size. It's 42 inches. I don't know if it's that, but um, I'll have to try it out with another 42 inch fan next time. Um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.